Uh, hello, my name is Pratik. Uh, namaste, uh, as we say in India. And uh, this is my first uh, SOTM. Uh, really pumped up to be here. Uh, I'm going to just share uh, what is happening in India. Uh, we are a country of like more than a billion people, uh, but that is not well reflected in the terms of the community that we have. Uh, but there's a lot of things that's happening be uh, below the hood, and I'm just going to emphasize on uh, what's happening right now. Uh, so, yeah, we are growing uh, as as uh, OSM community. Uh, as you can see, like there's a lot of things happening right now. Uh, big cities, obviously, the target where most of the mappings is happening. Uh, plus, there are few users, uh, and there uh, and there are more users coming that are interested in OSM. That gives them the ability to map their uh, defined places, which currently, like right now, most of the the user base and the map data is totally like. Uh, dependent on Google, uh, but with the help of like OSM, a lot of people are now doing amazing work, uh, showing what what is happening around their cities, what is happening around their their regions, uh, how stuff are growing, uh, how the cities are growing, uh, how the development is causing uh, the plantation, the tree covers, uh, uh, the adverse effect of like uh, on things like uh, lakes, uh, all of these. So there's a lot of users. Uh, the main driving factor is language, uh, because uh, English is not our first language, uh, as well as Hindi is not spoken throughout the country. So there's a lot of emphasis on the regional languages, and that 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 gets reflected in a lot of like uh, in a lot of areas where you see regional languages uh, pre predominantly are like important. Uh, and when you want to create maps that is used by a specific city, that is that can be used by a specific region, you want them to be in the language that people can read. Uh, this is Chennai, uh, and the, the language that you can see in Tamil, uh, because that's the most common spoken language there. And uh, this is important for the people who live in the city uh, and they don't know about English or they don't know about Hindi. Uh, so this, this, these kind of maps are like become important for them. Uh, so there's a lot of like mapping going on, which is uh, which is people adding the names uh, in their local language. Uh, you can see Kannada is one of the one of the most prominent language in Indian uh, subcontinent and even in the world. Like you'll always find these people adding tags and making a a, a bigger map of uh, of Kannada throughout the world. Uh, this is my hometown. Uh, I've been the only mapper around there. I've tried to contact a few people who were hit and run mappers. They they never contacted back. I guess they just edited one or two things and they get back. Uh, but something strange happened uh, in the middle of 2016. Uh, I found out, and we found out actually, as uh, as OSM community and and uh, the data team at Mapbox, that there's a lot of uh, building, in building uh, mapping happening around the whole country. And uh, this is one of the this is one of the user of OSM. Uh, they are thinking and right now building the capacity to use OSM as part of uh, as part of their uh, address infrastructure. Uh, so they have been adding buildings throughout the country uh, that can help them identify these uh, places. Uh, so you can see, like they have added a lot of buildings, and as with every new team, uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, like wrong edits. There's a lot of like uh, common mistakes, like overlapping of things, overlapping of their own edits. Uh, sometimes like uh, overlap, like sometimes like just common errors that you can see uh, things not aligning with the imagery. Uh, we tried to help them. Uh, we made sure that uh, they know how OSM works. Uh, they know how uh, the community works. Uh, they know what are the tools available right now, like Tasking Manager, uh, like the the basics of JOSM. Uh, how can you how you can uh, reduce these numbers of uh, wrong edits? How you can improve the map uh, quickly? How you can edit fast? Uh, all of these things. Uh, there's a lot of events happening also in India. Uh, the more focus is towards the youth, uh, since these are the people who are more interested in maps, creating them, using them. Uh, there was an OSM hack weekend uh, a few months ago where people were invited to use OSM and like play with uh, what is available, uh, create something, uh, just a lot of like random ideas and how they can work together with different teams and uh, just to build a community. That's one of the bigger part. Uh, as one of the part of outreaching to people, uh, we have always like tried to focus on uh, identifying universities and colleges uh, where we can contact with the students. Uh, we can show them what is OSM, how they can contribute, how they can use it, 
uh, and just like the basics of how, how they can be part of this OSM, uh, this going community. Uh, uh, this is a university in Karnataka, and uh, these are the students of third year. Uh, so we just like get, get them to like understand how ID works and like how easily they can add their, uh, their own address and later on like how they can use overpass to just find like whatever they need. Uh, government is important part of OSM when you want to outreach and there is still uh, a large part of government that is not well connected to the OSM community. Uh, this is a good example where the local uh, administrator was, uh, was trying to uh, help an initiative uh, where, they will they, where the, uh, the people were teaching uh, local people how they can add their stuff, uh, how can they, they can use OSM maps. Uh, so this was, a, this was kind of like a, a, a good point uh, where we, we had interaction with the, with the government. Uh, that's it. Uh, uh, any questions so far? Thank you. Um, I understand there's some legal prohibitions uh, to map making in India. Um, could you, I don't know if that's true, if you could expand on how that affects the OSM community in India? Uh, that is more of a draft. That is not a rule right now. Uh, it's more of in a phase where people are discussing about it. Uh, since like uh, when it first came, it just came as something which was, which was very new. Uh, most of the laws in India are like very old, so they don't cover what exactly the technology is doing right now. Uh, and it's still the good thing is like still right now it's in the phase where people are discussing. The government also like is uh, inviting people for their for their voices on that. Uh, so right now we are in a good phase where the good thing is like it's in the part of like discussion. Like the government is ready to hear what people say, uh, what the concerning uh, parties have to say about it. Uh, so. I'm not, I'm not able to comment on it because it's not a law right now. It's still in a draft mode, and like we do need to discuss a lot around it to make it a law. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>